Hi, Lorraine Grewell of the VideoProductionTips.com here, and today I want to take you inside the video editing program of Final Cut Express. Now, Final Cut Express is a much less expensive alternative than Final Cut Pro. And as a program unto itself, it is very similar to Final Cut Pro. The biggest single difference really is in the number of file formats and the type of file formats that it can accept and work with. And it won't take some of the higher level professional formats that are really huge files and so forth. But on a creative level, Final Cut Express will do the vast majority of what its big brother Final Cut Pro will do. Now they each come with different add-on or bundle software and uh, there's a lot of advantages to the, what comes with Final Cut Studio, but Final Cut Express is a much less expensive alternative and it comes bundled with some of the favorites like LiveType. It really has a lot of functionality, a huge amount for uh, the fee, which last time I looked was about $300. So let's walk around in Final Cut Express today and let me show you how it works. All right, like all video editing software, Final Cut Express has multiple windows on the screen at once that all work together but yet have different functions. And if you're new to video editing, one of the first things you need to learn is how each window functions independently yet still works together as part of the entire process, all right? And like I said, every video editing program I certainly have ever seen functions in this basic way. The layout of where the windows are might be slightly different, but you still have individual windows that work independently and function together. So let's go over what they are here in Final Cut Express. This is your timeline down here on the bottom. The timeline is where you build your movie and all of these little individual clips are different elements within the video, all right? So we'll talk a little bit more about the timeline later, but the timeline is this big window. It takes up the entire bottom of the screen. Now this window here located in the upper left. That's called the browser. And the browser is kind of, well, think of it as the drawer that contains all the elements of your project. Now the project I have open here has lots of different elements. And if you double click on them here in your browser, they appear here in your viewer. All right? So as I double click on different things, you can see how it changes here. So this is, now you can make it look many different ways, but this is a list of all the elements you have in your project and you can put them in different folders and so forth and keep it all very organized, which is an important thing with any video editing file management is. But anyway, um, it tells you a little bit about each clip and so forth here in the browser, all right? Now, this is the viewer, where, which is kind of like a little a TV screen. And you can scroll through the clip, whichever clip you know, you've selected here in uh, the browser. But anyway, you look at it here in the viewer, but you really do a lot more than just look at it in the viewer. In this particular uh, program, you do a whole lot of work in your viewer. And uh, depending on which tab, you have open in the viewer. You can alter the audio. You can alter many different things about the video, the way it looks, where it is in the screen, how big it is, what color it is. You, you can just alter all kinds of things. So the, the viewer there is a very important window that has a lot of functionality, all right? Now, this window over here on the far right, this is your canvas. They call it canvas in the uh, Final Cut, and it is like an output monitor, okay? What you see here is what's in your timeline, all right? Now, this is an old project, and a lot of it's gone offline. I'll explain what that means in a minute. But here, as I click around in the timeline, then you see there what is in the canvas. And the canvas has some functionality, and you can do... Um, a lot of different things in it. You you can do a lot of positioning and keyframing and stuff like that in your canvas. Now, of course, you can also do those things in 
the viewer. And sometimes it's easier to do them in the viewer. There's a lot more functionality in the viewer than there is in the canvas, but there's, there's quite a bit in both. So here in the canvas, you can mostly think of that as an output monitor that shows you your final video that you have in the timeline. Okay. Right now, let's talk a little bit more about the timeline, and I want you to see how it's laid out. The timeline is your movie. What you're looking at is a finished project. It's actually an old project. I mentioned that a lot of this stuff is offline. What that means is the, the, the files were moved. The original media files were moved after I edited the project. And so the program doesn't know exactly where to go find these files. So they call it offline. All you have to do to get it back is to tell the program where those files are located, which means you have to know where they're located. So if you've moved them, <laughs> know where you move them to. But anyway, you can see here on the timeline on the far left, it shows each and every different line. All right, video editing is a process of stacking multiple video lines on top of each other and also mixing multiple audio lines with each other and that is your final movie. So if you see all these little individual elements, I'm moving one right now, that is part of that final image, which in this case, it's just the line that comes down in between image or number one and two. This is a project where I was trying to explain video editing, okay? Now, if you look at this timeline, you'll see all the lines going horizontally. Each horizontal line represents one of your video lines. The movie is divided here, right in the middle, in your timeline, between your audio lines and your video lines. Audio is below the line. Video lines are above the line. So each one of these little elements that you see in the timeline is a video element of some kind. All right, and each one of these is an audio element of some kind. This one little element here is the screen capture frame of Windows Movie Maker. All right, this is a video I did about how to edit. So I had video of a uh, screen capture video of Windows Movie Maker. So to, in order to get this final composite shot that's showing here in our canvas, where you've got the one, two, three across the top and the lines on it, what, here's how I stacked it all up, all right? The very first shot is the screenshot of Windows Movie Maker, all right? Then on top of that, I put a solid black where the opacity or the transparency was brought down. And when you do that, it just made my shot of Windows Movie Maker darker, all right? Because I wanted the one, two, three across the top to show a little bit better, all right? So now in order to get that one, two, three, it's, it alone is composed of multiple elements. There's your horizontal line, one of the vertical lines, the other vertical line, and then your one, and your two, and your three. All right? So now you can really see how here in your timeline, you've got all of these different elements stacked on top of each other, boom, 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 like blocks. And you can see how that shows differently in the two windows of the software. So now you can see the relation of what's in your timeline to what you're seeing in your uh, viewer in Canvas and how to put it all together and how to stack it. All right, so we've actually covered quite a bit about Final Cut Express and how it works. Now, a lot of what I've said will absolutely apply to any video editing program. Most of them are, you know, more alike than they are different really. I kind of make the analogy sometimes with automobiles. If you know how to drive a Volkswagen, you can probably handle a Mercedes. And um, anyway, so I hope that helps. I hope you understand no more now about video editing and Final Cut Express. So thank you so much for watching. I'm Lorraine Grula with VideoProductionTips.com and we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.